everyone. Oh, good afternoon. Welcome to Ooh. Disney Springs. It's fall? It is fall. Lenny Kravitz told us so. So today we're here at Disney Springs celebrating <laughs> fall in the best way possible. Pumpkin flavored treats. There are a few different places that have a few different pumpkin treats, including a cupcake, coffee, donut. Yeah. So we're going to make our way around today. Go check that out. We're going to do some shopping. Yeah, we're going to do some shopping too. So let's go see what we can find. What do you say? I'm going to go find some sugar. Let the pumpkin hunt begin. <laughs> it's a really beautiful day here at Disney Springs today. It's warm, but not too warm. We got some nice breeze rolling through. Kind of perfect, if you were to ask me. We're definitely seeing some progress over here, too, on this summer house. I don't know what they're going to have. Presumably steak. We'll have to look it up. I'm not sure, and I'm not sure when they're planning on opening. Look, 2023. Also, I'm gonna forewarn you, construction noises, they're here too. We can't escape them pretty much anywhere at Disney World right now. Okay, our first stop along the way was clearly Everglades Donuts. They have some amazing donuts here and of course some pumpkin flavored ones for the season. They also have some pumpkin coffee. I got full. They also have some pumpkin chai. So we're gonna try these and see what we think. Let's take a look at this donut though. Whoa. Now it's a pretty big donut, although it doesn't look that impressive in such a huge box, but they have some really big donuts here. Well, here's the thing, right? So they have really big donuts here and those look very intimidating, but this is gonna be a very dense donut because this is actually a cake donut. Yes. Today we're gonna try and continue not making a mess. Best of luck to me. Here's the donut. Doesn't it look good? That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got, a little, you got a little pumpkin left over. No, honestly, I'm more looking forward to coffee. So I got the pumpkin hazelnut cold brew. Wow. That is delicious. One of the best coffee they've ever made. I gotta do the try now. Wow, that is delicious. That's really good. All right, try your donut real quick. That's very good. They definitely up in their game. I usually come here just for chicken sandwiches. I don't usually get coffee or donuts, but this may change my mind, to be honest with you. It's very, very good. Very good. We're gonna eat this donut, then we're gonna get on our way, take our coffee with us, do a little bit of shopping. We've had some more time to sip on our coffees. Mine's already half gone. What are you talking about? Like, it's. We haven't even gone that far. I have a problem. It's delicious. Very good. Both of them are very good. I did take a sip of that. It was delicious. I've been sipping on this. Now this is a chai and I went with that because we're doing pumpkin. So pumpkin, but they also had a caramel apple cold brew. Yeah. We'll be coming back for that. Just you and me. That's messed up. You out in the cold. Sweetest. You just gotta do what you gotta do. There's no other way to say it. I get it. I get it. I, 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 you have to respect the process. And let's be honest though, these are very good, in all honesty. Like, we're not joking here. I like, think this is, so far, all of this has been the best pumpkin stuff I've had. And I've had a lot of pumpkin stuff, and a lot of it has not impressed me. You know what impressed me though more than anything? What? The Wawa pumpkin coffee. This <laughs> is right up there with that Wawa pumpkin coffee. The Wawa, that good. No, Wawa pumpkin coffee. Don't sleep on it. Get your gas. Go get a Wawa pumpkin coffee. It's delicious. Do you want to do some shopping? Yeah. Do you want to finish that before we go shop? I mean, goodness knows he's going to finish it before we go shopping regardless. It ain't going to make it. I'll tell you what, it smells so good here at Disney Springs today. There are so many different foods that I want to try. It's just not enough space in my belly to try them all in one day. By the way, I was talking to a cast member the other day and they didn't realize there was a corksicle right here by Paddlefish. So if you didn't know, now you do. Okay, we've dipped into a corner and I gave Russ the rest of my chai so he could try it. I'm out of coffee. You gave me your chai. It is phenomenal. It's like tons of flavor, yeah. light, sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. So we just came out of Art of Shaving. Gotta get some stuff squared away for the head. Gotta get the face squared away. General, general man maintenance. And they had a lot of good stuff in there. Good deals right now too. Yeah. 50% off like kits and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's high quality stuff because right? I've been doing my research. Yeah, so we're probably going to make our way back there on our way out yeah. to grab some stuff before we get to the car just so we don't have to carry it around. Yep. And uh, maybe if we do, give you a look. Wow, this is ridiculous. I can't stop thinking about this now. We've been keeping our eye out for 
some of the offerings and uh, this looks amazing. We're here in the Disney 100 section and I saw this new frame. Did we look at this the other day at the Grand Floridian? I could have sworn it was there, but it's a it's a pretty hefty frame, $34.99 for that. Not too bad. Let's see what else they have. I like it, that's, that's some weight to it. That's yeah. that kind of frame. Looks like we have some Crocs over here as well. I don't think these are new, but I haven't seen them for a while. Do you have a price? Ah, oh, there they are, $59.99. If they are new, the print isn't. We have seen this print on merchandise before. But then again, like I've said about the Disney 100 stuff, it's been going for quite some time. So just because we're seeing the merchandise for the first time now doesn't mean that it's new. It's just the first time that we're really seeing it front and center here at Walt Disney World. Okay, these look new. So we have the platinum ears. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is a Disney 100 emblem right there. Let's see how much these are. $26.99. And then there is a Tinkerbell. That one's really cute. This one is $29.99. Got the Mickey hat over here. They did make a Mickey hat that was platinum like this and Mickey ears that were platinum like that as well. They were very expensive. $29.99 for this hat. Steamboat Willie. Let's see how much this one is. $34.99. These cocoa ears are new. Look at that. Wow, the detail is really good on these. Um, they feel nice and lightweight. That feels pretty good. Feels this like, like a, full leather. This is like a patch. Yeah. That's cool. So I think those are gonna be $34.99 like the rest of the ears. It doesn't have a price tag on it. And of course we have lots of other ears as well. Check this out. This is brand new. We have not seen this at all. It's really cute. It's definitely a raincoat. That's what it feels like. I don't know. It's very thick. This is very exciting. New piece of merch we weren't expecting to see. $59.99 for this. Let's see. There's the back. It is part of the Pride collection. I will say for the quality, the price is not bad at all. Oh, and it's got this cute little patch. Check this out. This is a new color for this backpack. These are really nice backpacks. I do like them. $49.99. And then they have this little pouch as well. Guys. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. Very cute. <laughs> That's a weighted plush, by the way. Uh, two and a half pounds. It is $39.99 for that plush. Of course, we also have Grogu, same type of thing, $39.99. He's cute too, but Olaf, oh my goodness. So we saw this dress the other day at Animal Kingdom and it's really cute. You can go check out our previous video if you want to see more of this collection. There is a matching headband that goes with the dress, but looks like there's also a matching purse. Look how cute. Very cute. That button is adorable. Really cute. How much is this? This is $29.99. So just as a reminder, we have $29.99. We have $19.99 for that. And the dress is $49.99. And here goes up to size 13. Looks like we have some other dresses here as well. We have Maribel and Lisa. And look. There's even a accessory kit, which is super cute. So this kit is $29.99, has glasses, a bangle, some earrings, and what is this? Is that a barrette or a hair tie? And then we have the dress, like I said. It does not have a price on it. Hold on, this one does. It is $59.99, and this dress, which they also have in adult sizes, by the way, is $49.99. It's $69.99 for the adult version. So it looks like they have some other really cute dresses as well. Here is a frozen dress. This one is $49.99, and it does have a matching headband. How cute is that? That headband is $14.99. Then there is a purse and a coat. How much is the purse? $29.99. This fancy pants jacket. Look at the buttons. This is $59.99 and goes up to size 13. Oh look, you can have some fancy ears here. We've got a little veil on the back. That's so cute. I feel like we haven't seen these before. They must be new. We got some Peter Pan stuff here too. Got a sweatshirt. It reminds me of the VHS boxes. 
It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like someone took all the VHS box like. Or covers. like the little golden books. Yeah. This one is $54.99. Oh, Peter Pan Crocs. Exactly That's what everyone right needs. Now. No price over here, but I'd imagine that they're what, around 60 bucks? They had some cute things in there, but you know what? We didn't see that peace sign crew neck. I've been looking for that. You're never gonna get it. It was like here and then it disappeared forever and they were like huge restock. So I was wondering if it was gonna be here. It's not. Now, to be fair, they said huge restock a few days ago, but I anticipated that that meant they might still have some. You know where it is? Where? It's at Hollywood Studios. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because we haven't been there forever. We haven't been there forever and there's nothing going on at that park right now. Maybe. Makes me so sad. Anyway, more about that some other time, but I think it's it's time for a cupcake. It's time for a cupcake. Time for a cupcake? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Skedaddle. Going on a pumpkin hunt. Time for another pumpkin snack. Here we go. Headed to Sprinkles. Because they have a seasonal cupcake and we are going to get it. That's a special bag. Now I'll be honest with you. I was one of those people who did not give this place near enough credit because I, I have a complicated relationship with cupcakes. Cupcakes tend to be like, all right. Cupcakes are never really impressive. Now they're fun. I think that people like getting cupcakes because they're like small and they're usually decorated cute, but they're never really anything to write home about. And it's seven bucks a pop, which is what you're gonna pay here at Sprinkles. Better be a good cupcake, you know? Then, how long ago was that? I don't know, it was a few months ago, if not, nearly a year ago. A year. We came here yeah, year and great staff in there. We were asking them what their favorite cupcakes were and we ordered one of each and it was really, really good. Like so impressive. Now I don't come to Sprinkles all that often, but when I saw that they had a pumpkin spice latte cupcake, I was like, you gotta get that cupcake. So here we are and here it is. Can you see it? I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of there, so I think I'm just gonna rip the bag. Now I will say I didn't opt for the special flavor safe box or whatever it is, but the cupcake did still come packed in this nice little piece of cardboard, which is nice. It means it doesn't get all messed up. I'll just try to move it around. I can smell that from here. There it is, look at that. Doesn't that look good? So there's the inside of the cupcake. Looks like fluff. Smells amazing. Just not a sugar. Look at that, though. That's got some weight to it. Here's the thing, though. Look, like, look at the body, though. Like, it's actually like holding itself. Like, this is serious. That's not too sweet, and I appreciate that. <laughs> that is like pumpkin flavored, not so sweet. It's not super sweet at all. It's really good. Now it's my turn. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Oh goodness. I've been eating a lot of things, and I've been making out pretty, pretty okay. I feel like I'm bound to make a terrible mess at some point. There we go. We'll try this first. Oh, that does taste like like pumpkin bread. Not overpowering. All right, here we go. Even the icing is really nice. Yeah. That was really good. So it is pumpkin spice latte. It does have pumpkin flavor. It definitely has like a like a coffee, maybe espresso ish kind of flavor in there too. Nice and light. It doesn't make you feel like icky unique too which i think is notable especially if you're paying seven bucks for a cupcake you want it to be unique and interesting and this was so i really do like this place um i the challenge that i have with sprinkles though is is it so unique that you need to make your way out to this location when you're here at walt disney world that i'm not sure about and i feel the same way about not only everglazed but gideon they have really good quality product However, if you're not going for something particularly unique, I don't know that it's necessarily worth the price you're paying. So for example, Gideon's cookies, delicious. Their chocolate chip cookie, really good. Would I tell you to go out of your way to go to Gideon's to get a chocolate chip cookie? No, I tell you to try one of their limited edition cookies or something else, something unique. The same is true for Everglazed. While they have really good donuts, really good like basic donuts, why would you go and spend the extra cash on a basic donut when you could get a delicious, unique flavor? Same thing for here. You seem to not be struggling with the hair situation that I'm struggling with today. What are you talking about? I have to make a big decision today. What's that? I gotta pick a scent and I gotta get some stuff, you know? They get running a deal, I gotta take advantage of it, and you know me, 
It's like 10 hours just buying one pair of jeans. It's not why we're sitting down here for as long as we are. Yeah, but in the same breath, you gotta tell the people, right? I mean, I know I'm like speaking through you to her, but let's be honest, that pumpkin donut was amazing. Okay, one more stop. Russ says that he thinks the crew neck might be in here. Let's check and see. I don't have high hopes, but we haven't been in here for a while, so. It's been a long time. Either way, we'll see what they got. I'm, I was so worried they were gonna run out of those backpacks, and they have plenty of them now. I know. I haven't had a chance to wear them yet, but yeah. once the weather gets a little bit better, me and Eeyore have a date. Go on some rides together. Second, I think this skirt is new. Got a cute little Olaf there. Some embroidery. Personally, I think that's a little bit much for 80 bucks, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Well, another store and another thumbs down. Crew neck, nowhere to be found. They do still have other parts of that collection, like oh, they, the- The whole thing. No, tell, 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 they have the whole set, except for the one thing you want. Are we surprised? To be fair, I don't need it. I, I don't even know that I want it. I just wanted to see if I can get my hands on it because I'm always trying to keep my eye out for you guys because you ask a lot about merchandise and how hard it is to get your hands on merchandise, especially the stuff that you see here in videos or on TikTok or other social media platforms. So I'm always trying to look for that stuff. But anyway, it was just a quick trip to Disney Springs here today and it was a good one. We did try three different treats mm -hmm. well two coffees two treats and they were all really good of course there are so many more things to try here at disney springs right now so we will be back we'll be back to try out some of that stuff i'm actually very anxious and excited to actually go to polite pig for the first time oh yeah they have something really good they over have there, a half chicken i want i just got my eye on it well put it on the list mm. that list is getting pretty long huh I, there's not enough uh, there's not enough meals in the day there no. really isn't. And, we, and the thing is, we also don't eat much. No, we don't eat out as much as you probably think we do because, I mean, you see us talking about it and focusing on it, but <laughs> anyway, that's a story for another day. But I think we're gonna wrap things up and make our way out. Also, kind of looks like a storm might be rolling in, so. Florida, it's the 3 p.m. showers. You know? Um, <laughs> But I hope that you had fun wandering around with us today. If you have the opportunity to stumble upon any of the dishes that are being offered here that you think we should try, let us know what they are in a comment down below. Whether it's a fall favorite, although we're running out of time. I think that a lot of them are no longer gonna be offered October 1st. At least some of them are only here until October 1st. They're probably gonna bring out Halloween stuff and that's why, but. I also failed. I did not make a decision on uh, my shaving stuff. I'm a little disappointed in myself, but you can't rush this process. Yeah. Research is key. So he's gonna do some researching, and then maybe we'll make our way back here and take some time to focus on that. If you're interested in that type of thing, let us know in the comments as well. Mm. And um, tell us what else you're excited about in the next month here at Walt Disney World. There's a lot of stuff happening. We're moving our way really into fall and the official start of spooky season. I know it's like kind of already started, but October 1st. That's like the official, official start. Yeah, the countdown begins then officially, right? Yes. yes. So let us know mm. in a comment. Tell us how you're doing. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a lot of, eat, a lot of food to eat, a lot of things to do. Clearly. It's just, it's just not enough hours in the day. And you don't want to miss it. So yep. hit subscribe so that you don't. But anyway, we hope that you have a great rest of your day and we hope to see you in the next one. Yep. Bye. Bye everyone.